Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have the list of official Star Citizen content expected this week, so let us take a look. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members, in particular to Vitmalot for rejoining as a channel member, and my latest member, Ayatiz. Thank you guys so much for the support, it is truly appreciated. So on Tuesday, the narrative team answered many of our questions taken from the Ask a Dev section on Spectrum and put that into its own post now available on the com link on the RSI website. I've not yet read this, but I'm sure as usual, there will be a lot of information for all those interested in the backstory of the verse. This Wednesday, both the Persistent Universe and Squadron 42 monthly reports will go live. Of course, I will cover both of these in dedicated videos so that you can keep up with all of the work that went on over the last month. Thursday brings a new Inside Star Citizen. This week, it is with the Tools team focusing on all of the work that they have been doing to help make the developers' lives better. Hopefully, we will see more on the procedural tools used to populate places like Pyro. That would be really cool, but there are a lot of tools in the works, so who knows what we will see. And then finally on Friday, alongside the usual weekly newsletter and vault update at 5 p.m. UTC, which is 10 a.m. Pacific, members of the graphics and engine team will be answering our questions. So likely a lot of talk about the Gen 12 renderer and hopefully some more on Vulcan as well. Although I don't think there is much more to really be said right now as this was recently addressed, but I'm sure that there is more to learn. So it should be an interesting episode nonetheless. Now in other news, 3.17 continues on and 3.17.1 is on the horizon with Evocati testing out a new FPS dynamic event in which it sounds like players will be fighting Ninetales gang members on some floating platforms at Orison alongside Invictus. Hopefully we will hear more information about this as it does sound pretty interesting but also holding the event at Orison will be a nice change. Let us just hope that performance is better than it was when everyone begins to congregate there. Also, I have heard a new vehicle that will be on sale at the event will be the Drake Mule, which is said to be a single-seater ground transport vehicle capable of moving up to three standard cargo units at a time. I will definitely love to see more on this. It does sound like it's going to be quite a useful vehicle, especially with the ongoing work to the cargo refactor. And I feel like cargo orientated vehicles will be pretty useful going forwards. If this is there to help us maybe load and unload or deliver goods on the ground, I will certainly be picking one up. Uh, anyway, from me this week, I'll be working on getting these monthly report videos done, as well as finishing off the week with Star Citizen Sunday, which covers all of the official news from Star Citizen in one handy video. I'll also be streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother on Thursday at 1pm BST and Friday at 3pm BST, so by all means do come and hang out with us there. You are all more than welcome, whether you are new or old to Star Citizen, it is always a pleasure to hang out with you all. But that is the end of the video. Lots to look forward to this week. It does sound like some great content is coming. I hope you all have a great week yourselves. But with that said, if you do appreciate my videos, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. It does do the channel a big favor. And tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, huge thank you to my patrons and channel members for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.